Getting to eat our last meal here in the RV in Spokane. The next time we eat dinner, guys, we're going to be on the property. Mm. Isn't that going to be fun? Mm -hmm. A very busy, full day ahead of us here. Um, we are moving to the property tomorrow morning. This is Saturday. We're moving over there Sunday morning. So today, um, several things need to get done. I need to return this trailer. I, I uh, got my parents' backhoe or a uh, tractor onto the property last night with that trailer. I need to return that trailer here in Spokane on my way to Idaho. Then I need to get to Idaho and put that sewer pipe in the ground um, between the septic tank and where the trailer will sit tomorrow. Then I need to backfill that using the backhoe. Then I need to move a pile of gravel to the location of the addition little shack that's going to be next to the RV. So that all needs to happen today. We're also um, going to a, a super fun meetup thing tonight. Uh, Ray Edwards, who I follow online um, for marketing and copywriting stuff, he has he helped review um, one of my early websites for the how-to classes I was teaching. He helped me really create an amazing website uh, for that. Um, so anyway, Ray Edwards bought a coffee shop. He bought his favorite coffee shop, Revel 77 here in Spokane. So they're having an open house today. So we're going to that this afternoon. That's gonna be really exciting. Uh, but in order for that to happen, I need to get to the property. I need to return the trailer, put the sewer pipe in the ground, move the gravel, then get back here by uh, about three. So I need to book it. Um, I am going to upload this as just a raw, real-time update video. It is not gonna be very edited at all. It probably won't have intro and outro music and titles and all that stuff. It'll just be a raw update, but I want to get I want to update you guys. We're moving on to the property tomorrow. So very very excited about that um, A lot needs to happen. So I better jump right to it Drop off the trailer check Arrive at the property check Here we are So we need to move that gravel pile with that tractor also need to put the sewer pipe in the ground over there. Let's get to it. So my excavator uh, left me this pipe coming from the septic tank and we just capped it off with duct tape so we're gonna rip that off and hook into it with another section of pipe. He didn't quite have enough pipe with him at the time so um, we got this far and he told me what to get to finish the rest. I've mocked up the elbow where it's going to be and I put the level on it so I so it's I know that the riser is going to go straight up. And now I'll measure the length I need. 10 foot 1 inch would be perfect. We'll see what these pipes are. 9 foot, 10 foot. Okay. Well, so I'm not going to get to place the elbow exactly where I want it. I'm going to need it a little bit this direction. So I'm just going to cut the bell off as soon as it gets to straight pipe. I'll cut it off, put the elbow on, and I'll call it good there. It'll end up, instead of my pipe being here coming out of the ground, it'll be something like here. That's okay. The, uh, the back of the trailer is over here, so it'll work. This is all temporary anyway. Not the straightest cut in the world, but that's okay. You haven't seen this before it's a deburring tool it helps uh, clean up edges of material like this it's originally made for metalworking but I use it for this as well using this red hot blue glue there we go okay not quite there we go wasn't wanting to get on all the way now it's on so I have now installed the pipe up to this point. I'm now ready to put in the riser and the uh, clean out cap right there. 
I went ahead and haunched the pipe. That's uh, it's called haunching when you put dirt in, kind of alongside, and then you stomp it down so that the pipe gets nicely bedded in and is at the right slope. I used a bubble uh, torpedo level to check the slope of the um, pipe, make sure it's at the right drainage slope. It's roughly between a quarter and three eighths of an inch. That's what the septic guy did for that pipe. So I'm just continuing the same here. Again, this is all temporary. It's just making it work for a year or two while we have the trailer hooked up to it. So um, that's in, it's haunched. Um, it's securely bedded underneath and there's no points where like I can walk along it and there's no points where it sags or dips a little bit as my weight goes on it. So it's ni nicely firmly supported with nice uh, rock free soil underneath. Now I'm going to put some loose uh, or some, uh, some clean soil on top of it, finish bedding the pipe. All right, well now we have this clean out that we can attach our RV Blackwater dump hose to. So there we go. Now I'm going to backfill this by hand um, to get, you know, good dirt around the pipe without huge rocks in it. And uh, then I'll backfill the rest with the tractor. At the property, I did not end up getting everything done that I was hoping to. Um, I needed to leave early to go to Rebel 77 here in Spokane. So we got to come to Rebel 77's open house. Ray Edwards here just bought bought it. He and Sean are um, taking over and, and uh, making it a grand thing again. So it's going to be awesome. Um, I'm going to look forward to, to seeing them in here occasionally, hopefully, and we really appreciated the open house. It was good, great to meet oh, you, for Ray. sure. I'm glad you guys yeah. could come. It's yeah. our pleasure. And you got a big adventure ahead of you, so we do. I'll yeah. be watching. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Ray Edwards and his son, Sean, bought the company, and it's going to be fun to see um, them use their copywriting and marketing skills on a brick-and-mortar store. I've learned a lot from them, and... and uh, uh, will continue to do so. So, um, in order to get there on time, and I barely squeaked in on time, I had to leave the property early. So, um, I got the sewer pipe in the ground, as you saw. I got the some of the gravel moved, but not all of it. So, I'll have to finish that early tomorrow morning. Um, trying to just squeak it in right before the our, the uh, guy that's pulling our fifth wheel arrives. Need to finish that. I started moving it, and then I realized in the spot or right next to the spot where I was putting the gravel we needed to move a couple uh, remove a couple trees because they were going to be in the way of the, the little building we're going to put there and now's the time to remove them it would be really difficult to remove them with the building there or even with the RV there tomorrow it would be boxed in so it'd be difficult to get those trees out um, I could cut them off you know just cut them down with a chainsaw but it would end up we'd have a stump there it's kind of nice when you can just rip out the stump at, you know, with the tree. So with the leverage of the tree being on it, I just went ahead and ripped them out. So those are, those are out. I need to smooth out the ground a little bit more and then, and then move the gravel. So we'll finish doing that tomorrow. Um, for right now, we're celebrating the end of the day with some um, mod pizza. Do you like it? Is it yummy? Do you like the pizza? Yes. Yeah, good. There's an answer. How about you? Do you like the pizza? Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, I need to get mine. It looks delicious though. Uh, we like mod pizza. Getting to eat our last meal here in the RV in Spokane. The next time we eat dinner, guys, we're going to be on the property. Mm. Isn't that going to be fun? Mm -hmm. 
And I realized uh, last night that Sarah has never seen the stars on our property because she's never been there after dark or not much. We saw them last night, right? Weren't the stars pretty? You, yeah, you saw a deer run by last mm -hmm. night. We saw the deer. And, and then after the deer, then the little black spot yeah, was moving. Yeah, she saw a little black thing that she thinks was maybe a porcupine or something. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It was something. I'm going to dig in. I'm transferring videos right now. Um, and so I can edit that quickly tonight. Fire this video up to you all. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow. Say bye bye. See you at the property. Say see you at the property. You silly goof. <laughs> Say see you bye. at the property. Bye. I see you at the property. Um, maga 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 maga. You silly. <laughs>